Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be working on this part and this is our basic part modeling. So just like you did in the last one, download this file from the description and see if you can go through this and follow in the instruction and see if you can model it. So you have your first part, which is this, and you have the instructions here on how to model it and just follow each step and see if you can create this part. And if you get stuck, you can come back and look at my video to see how to model this part. So to start, download the file and start working through it to see if you can create it. To create this part, let's start a new part file. Select part and click OK. Next, we will change our units to millimeter. So select option, document properties, units, millimeter and click OK. Next, we are going to create this sketch on the top plane. We'll select the top plane, select sketch. I'm going to bring this over here. We are going to use the rectangle to create that sketch. Come to your rectangle. Let's select corner rectangle. Click this point and drag your rectangle like this. So that's how we create that rectangle. Next, we will add our dimension. It is 200 here. And it is 100 here. We have a fully defined sketch. We are going to extrude it 10 millimeter. So come to feature, extrude, and it is 10 millimeter. And you can extrude it up and we will click OK. So let's move on to the next one. On the next one, we are going to create this feature. So let's select this face and select sketch. So we are creating a sketch on this face. I'm going to go normal too. You can see that is on this corner, which is this corner. So I'm going to create another corner rectangle. I'll select that edge and drag it something like that. Next, we are going to add our dimension. So I'll click on smart dimension. And this is going to be 50. And this length is going to be 40. So to add the dimension, you can either click point to point or click the line. And once I have my dimension is fully defined, come to feature, extrude, and the extrude is 25 millimeter. So I'll change this to 25. There you go. 25 millimeters and click OK. So that's that next feature. The next feature is to draw the hole. So we'll select whole wizard and we are drawing a hole so we can use this. Select that, come to position and select this face first. Select again to click that point. So you first select the face and click again to add the point. And once you add the point, we can come number two, press escape to exit out of that whole selection. Then now we can add our dimension to this point, which is what you are seeing over here. And from the top to the point is going to be 30. And from this side to the point, it's going to be 35. So once that point is fully defined, we can come back to select OK over here. Then we can come back to the type. And we can just add this dimension to it. So come to your standard over here under these options. Click this drop down and change it to NC metric. And under the whole type, we can just leave it at drill hole size. Then down here under the size, let's scroll all the way down until we find 25. So we have 25 over here. Select that. And the end condition, it is going to be true or, and click OK. And once we have it, it looks something like this, and we just click OK. And that is how you create this part. So make sure you save it. And let's move on to the next part. In the next part, we want to create this part. So what we will do is start a new part file. So we'll click New, Part, click OK. And next, we want to change our unit to millimeter. So select Options, Document Properties, Unit, 
millimeter and click OK. On the top plane, we want to draw this sketch. Select the top plane, come to the Sketch tab, Sketch. We'll select corner rectangle again. Draw something coming out like this. We'll now add the dimension, select Smart Dimension. This is 75. And this is 150. Once we have a fully defined sketch, we will extrude it. Just come to Feature, Extrude. We are extruding it 5 millimeter. Change the dimension to 5 and click OK. So on the next page, they want us to cut this part. So which is here, we'll select the space and sketch. Number 2. Then let's come to the slot feature. So select this. And so I'm using the first one straight slot. We'll start our point on this edge. So click this edge, drag it up, click again and drag it out. So we have something like that. Um, now let's add a line from this point to this point. Next, let's trim this bottom part out. So I'm going to trim that out. I'll click OK. And this might break something, but it's okay for now. Let's add our dimension and see what we have. This line is 40. We need to make this line collinear with this edge. So we can click this point and click that edge and add a coincident relation. So that line is on that edge. Let's add another dimension, which is from this point or this line to this edge is 20. And the radius is 7. So let's see what's broken. Okay, so now all we need to do is click this line, make it vertical, click this line, make it vertical, click this circle and this line, add a tangent relation, click this circle and this line and add a tangent relation. I think it's because we deleted the one at the bottom, so we broke it. So I'm just going to delete that excess point because I don't need it. Once you have a fully defined sketch like this, then come to Feature, Extrude Cut. And we want to extrude cut that and we are going to select True All and click OK. So we did this front one. We need to do the same thing on this back side. So I'll select this face, um, Sketch, Number 2. So I'm in my sketch mode and I need to do the same thing on this side. So I'll use that same feature. I'll click here, drag down, click. And this time we actually don't have to delete this part so we don't break anything. It's fine, we can do it this way too. So let's add a radius of 7 here. Let's add a dimension from here to here. It's 40. And also a dimension from here to here is 20. We have a fully defined sketch and make sure that this point is coincident with this edge. So now what we can do is we can just extrude cut it this way. So come to feature, extrude cut. Then we'll select up to next, true all, and click OK. So now we have this. So again, select this face and sketch number two. And we want to draw a corner rectangle. So click on the corner rectangle and draw something like this. Click this and drag down and click again. Let's add the dimension. From this line to this edge is 25. From this line to this edge is also 25. And let me go number two just to make sure because it looks like it's crooked. Okay, 25, 25. Then from this edge to that line is 15. 
that is given here and the same thing over here from this edge to that line is 15. So let's go to the next page. Next page, they want us to extrude it through all. So we'll extrude, come to feature, extrude cut, and we'll select true all over here and click OK. Next, we want to add our fillet. So we'll select fillet. The first one is 10 and the 10 goes on the inside. So this inside edge, we'll make them 10. We'll select the inside edge, make them 10 and click OK. Then we'll select fill it again and we'll add it to the outside, which is eight. I'll add eight in there. I'll select these four corners. Here and here. So I believe that's just the four corners. And click OK. And this is how you create this part. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.